Today we are looking at the various parts of a solar power system. In a solar power system, we have the solar panels, we have the inverter, we have the battery, we have the solar charge controller. So I'm going to use this setup, this system, to explain how the various parts of a solar power system functions. First, we have the solar panels. The solar panels are mounted on the roof. Here we have 18 units of 625 watt solar panels. Nine panels are connected in series. The other nine are also connected in series to give us high voltage. Now from the solar panels, the energy that is generated from the solar panels is in DC. So the energy moves from the solar panels to this inverter. This is a hybrid inverter from there. This inverter converts the uh, power from the solar panels to AC. That is the basic function of an inverter. But here is a hybrid inverter. The hybrid inverter has an inbuilt charge controller. So that is why you cannot see an external charge controller here. What we have is inbuilt charge controller. So what comes from the solar panels enter the charge controllers through this MC4 connectors. We have two strings. So when it enters here, the hybrid inverter will make use of the power based on your settings on the inverter to power your loads and use the SS to charge the battery. Or the uh, solar panels will first charge the battery, then the SS will be used to power your loads, depending on how you set the inverter to perform. Now from the inverter, the energy moves to your battery bank. The uh, energy is still in DC form, that is direct current. So what we have here is a battery bank. This is a battery, this is 16 kilowatts hour. This is also another 16 kilowatts hour. So because we need high capacity, these two batteries are combined together to give us a higher capacity. So we, they are being connected in parallel, that is positive to positive, negative to negative. But since this is a lithium battery, it comes with the communication cable to communicate these batteries together so that they will be able to sense their state of charge and everything to make sure they synchronize their operation. Now, we also have um, another, the, like I told you, that the basic function of an inverter is to convert DC to AC. Like this light bulb we have, we have air conditioners, we have uh, washing machines. All these appliances are operating uh, in AC form, that is alternating current. What we have in this battery bank cannot power this bulb because this bulb is AC and other appliances you have, your ceiling fan, your water pump, they are all alternating current. But what is here is direct current. So you cannot use this direct current to power AC appliances. So that is where this guy, uh, the inverter comes in. Now it takes the DC that is stored in this battery. If you, uh, inside, uh, you do not convert the DC to AC, that is from uh, direct current to alternating current, so that you will be able to power AC appliances. So that is the basic function of an inverter. So you need an inverter if you want to power AC appliances. But if all your appliances are DC, that is direct current, you don't need an inverter. You only need an inverter because you want to power AC appliances. So... Uh, if we are having um, an external charge controller, it will not be installed inside the battery. You will find it outside. The, 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 the charge controller can, will be mounted outside. We have Victron and other solar charge controllers. But here we don't need an external charge controller because the internal charge controller, the inbuilt charge controller can handle maximum power from the PV, that is from the solar panels. As you can see, you can combine two inverters. If you need high capacity, that is your loads, your power output or your load consumption, your power consumption is high. You can combine two inverters, three, four, five, six inverters, depending on the manufacturer's recommendation to give you high output. Here we have these two day inverters, eight kilowatts each, connected in parallel to give us 16 kilowatts. That is eight plus eight, 16. So they are connected in parallel for you know maximum power output. Also, if you have two inverters, uh, if one is down, 
you can switch to the other one you know make use of it until you fix the other one but you can still use a single inverter to power your load but it all depends on your system design and also your load requirements we also have other components we have the breakers we also have the cables here we have dc this is for pv all the uh the cables that comes from the solar panels will pass through here so we have breakers we have spds that are such protective devices then we also have the ac breakers as you can see here these ones are for ac to control uh, our ac power so you need them for protection then the cables are also sized you know according to you know uh the current that is passing through them you size your cable so that the cables will be able to handle the current that will be passing through them so when you hear of a solar power system uh you should know that there are various components or different parts that makes up that solar power system don't forget you need the solar panel you need the inverter if you're not using a hybrid inverter you're using a non-hybrid inverter then you need an external charge controller but if you are buying a hybrid inverter like this day inverter you don't need an external charge controller then you also need a battery the essence of battery is is a storage device is a battery bank or is a bank because during the day like now the solar panels are generating but the intensity of sun is very low it the, the weather is cloudy so what we are having is just 463 watts but at peak at peak i'm having uh up to 6000 watts from here i also have 6000 watts from here when they are generating at their peak so uh whatever comes is being stored in this battery because at night when there's no sun uh you cannot the solar panels are like dormant they are useless they cannot generate because they depend on the sun to generate energy so we need this battery so that during the day when there's sun the energy that has been generated by the solar panels will be stored in the battery then at night when there's no sun the inverter will now take this energy from the battery convert it to ac to power our appliances so it all depends on your system design the loads you have and you know the backup time how many hours you're using those loads per day so this will give you uh, a good idea on how to size your battery to size your solar panels to size your inverter to size the breakers you know other protective devices here we also have the mccb this one we have it connected between the uh, inverter and the battery if i want to isolate this inverter is just to break this to disconnect it from you know the battery so these are the various components uh you know that makes up a solar power system you can go through my channel to watch you know other educational videos on solar power system thank you very much if you have any question please drop it in the comments below thanks for watching and see you in my next video do have a lovely day